So let's talk about how to create a funnel on Softlink. Um, now, I already have my page here, so you can choose any of the templates and create your landing page here. But let's talk about the two critical elements of a funnel. Now, a funnel is controlled by two things, your form and your buttons. Never forget that, right? Your form and your button, that's what links your funnels together. So it's, a funnel is about linking two pages. So I have my sales page here, and then I have my thank you page here, right? So what I want is, I want you to come here and make a purchase, and immediately after making that purchase, you come to your thank you page, right? Which is what is called a two-step funnel. You know, it's a classic marketing standard to always have a two-step funnel, right? And you could have as many steps as possible. I'll show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you need to know is this. For anyone to take action on this page, they have to click a button, right? And so we have our buttons here. So I, I I'll just move this one right under this video. Right, okay, so this is my button here, but this button has no action because I didn't put any website link here. So if you notice, you're supposed to give an action. So which means that when I click that button, what happens? In the case of a two-step funnel, you want them to take action, maybe fill a form or make payment. And that's why you want to use this pop-out form. But I haven't created any form yet, okay? As you can see, there is no data here. So I'm going to go create my form and then come back to the button. So what I need to do is come right here, create a form. Okay, so this is the form component. You have your name, email, phone number. If you want anything else, take for instance, appointments, you want check boxes, you want countdown, you want country, drop down time. This is essential if you're, you know, if you have, if you're a coach and you want, um, those you know submitting the content say take for instance to book an appointment with you you can use the time you can use the date you know number phone number etc so in this case i'm just going to leave it very simple you know this way name email address and phone number now you go to styles how do you want your form to look so you can say basic form or classic form you can make it large right so you can make it large or medium i think i like it this way you can design hit here by ticking this design adjustments which um, you can change the color you can change the the button color you can make the button color here button background color you can change that here as well okay i think i like this then you can come right here to change the button text which is this here so i'm just going to call this book appointment appointment okay oh nah since i'm not adding time so i just say get this offer get this offer all right so that's the call to action um button for my form all right so the form has been created now i'm going to say do i want um anyone filling this form to receive payment um you can use the wallet pay system or you can choose any of those ones so i'm just going to go with the wallet pay and say yes um, I want to receive a payment of 1,000 error. Now, if you choose Stripe or PayPal, you, you get dollars here. So it becomes $1,000, all right? So um, keep an eye on that. Then you can decide to allow quantity here. So if I wanted to allow quantity, so I just mark this. So um, in the case of quantity, take for instance, if I was selling a dropshipping product, um, a shoe, for instance, I should allow you know, anyone to be able to choose, um, say they want five pieces or they want 10 pieces, right? And that's why this is there, okay? Then you can go to settings and then you have to tag your form. So I call this sales, sales page one form, for instance. Now, this is very important. You have to choose a thank you page. And this is what makes a funnel. So it means that if you don't put anything here, after this, the audience, right, or the lead fills this form, they don't go anywhere. The thank you page is saying, oh, when you fill this form, where should I redirect you to automatically? And so we're going to have to mark this and select our thank you page. So here we'll call it, this is thank you to, all right? 
and then you can decide to use external thank you page if you want to send someone to say www.softlink.ai for instance all right but that's not our case here so i'm just going to change this to you know to use I, I, i'll mark this and then thank you too so this is the page that i want okay so i could save this right here and take a look now that looks good okay so if you notice this form appears on this page right which in some cases you don't want that so you can decide to hide this form by coming back and say go to settings and you say pop up form update and and so that's the form that you can see it but it's there but the only way to bring this form back out is you know it's a pop-up form now so what you're going to do is you're going to have to tell all the buttons on this page that when you click this button pop out this form and how do you do that you click on the button you say instead of open website you say pop out form and then you click on the form and that's it update okay so now what you'd notice is that you know by doing this you've connected this form to this button that's what you've done so if i want to connect this as well i'm just going to to do this and say pop out form select the page of the form that i want right and that's it okay i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to all my buttons here update Okay, I'm going to go ahead to do that to all my Okay, so just um I'll do the same thing right here. Update Okay. Update. Okay. So now what happens here? Let's l l let me um show you this. Okay? So this is what happens here. So when when you click on this, it then pops out that form. All right? Now let's take a look. So I'm going to use this form filler. Right? And if I want quantity, I can add Two, for instance, I say get the offer, and see what happens. Right, it's going to pop out this payment page. Now, the moment I pay, it's going to take me straight to the thank you page. So let's see how that works. I'm going to disable this for now. So what I'm going to do is I'll tell that form here. This is our form working the magic. So I'll tell the form right here not to accept payment. So I don't want I, I don't want to take payment. So I'll disable payment here. All right, and update the form. Every other thing remains the same. Okay, so let's refresh. Okay, and click on this. Okay, and fill fill this form submitted successfully. And okay, so this page has not been published yet. So you see. Uh, okay, so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this page and publish it. Right, so I have to publish this page to thank you too. Thank you too. Okay. Good, that's it. So I'd come right here and tell this form. I'll tell the form. Okay, and change this to thank you too. Okay, and update. Okay, so when you publish this, okay, so if I click on this and I fill in this detail, now that's it. All right, so this is my thank you page, right? And so if you want anyone to make payments before they come to the actual page, all you need to do is enable payments in that form and keep the content on this page. So once you keep the content on this page, your audience is going to have to make payments before they can access the content page. All right. 
And so that's that's exactly how to set up your landing page and your sales funnel, you know, on on Softlink. So never forget that what makes a landing page and sales funnel right, or what makes a sales funnel in this case is your buttons and your forms. So you have to create the form and you have to embed that form to every button on the page. So you see, so the form is going to be, you know, sales page form. All right. So it's always your button and your, and your form, right? Always your buttons and your forms. So never forget that.